In a true one-of-a-kind event fashion, the BMW PGA Championship taking place this week has brought together players from the PGA Tour, DP World Tour, and of course, how can we forget the Live League? Sounds rather interesting, doesn't it? Well, it was everything you'd expect it to be. In today's video, we'll be telling you all about what went down recently at the Wentworth Club. So let's get started. First up, Fleetwood is in for an early start. Tommy Fleetwood turned heads with his performance at Wentworth. With beautiful rounds of 64, he took the lead at BMW's PGA Championship. Although he somewhat botched his opening round, the player was able to recover quickly to share a leading spot with Andy Sullivan and Victor Hovland. Here's how his performance went. The pro golfer birdied six of his last seven holes, which concluded his wonderfully executed 64 rounds. And let's just also mention that the man was able to pull this off in rainy conditions. That's right. The five-time European Tour winner plays as a member of the PGA and and we're sure that this performance has boasted his rankings. This was actually Fleetwood's first start since the Open, and his shooting the last four holes for a back nine of 31 tells us that he's been practicing pretty well. Moving on, people are raising a brow at Poulter's outfit of choice. Let's be honest, they're not the only ones doing that. Even we were confused as to what sort of look he was going for. Well, it's not exactly what he was wearing that was the problem, but rather what it represented. Before the event, the chief executive of the European tour group, Keith Pelly, had asked the Live players to not promote their professional endeavor, but seems like Poulter decided to do the very opposite. Yep, the man actually showed up sporting a logo of his new Live team, the Majestics, on his left sleeve for everyone to see. You heard that right, it sticks instead of the ticks. It's not just the name that's tacky, but the entire attitude also. We wonder what he's trying to pull off. Maybe he just wants everyone to know that he's being paid well now. Do you want to know the explanation he gave? <laughs> well, you're in for a shock. The Englishman insisted that he didn't really have time to go to the embroiders and have another set made for this week. That sounds like a pretty lame excuse. Apart from this, he went on to mention that the venture is essentially a business that he actually owns a part of, so it has a right to be there. Does that sound like gloating to anyone else? And apart from this, the entire defensive stance that he's taken up isn't really doing him any good. The golfer somehow felt the need to give more justifications regarding his outfit. He said that he was traveling, so this was the set he brought with him. Okay, so now we've got a total of three excuses. You can pick whichever one you like. But to be honest, it seems like the Live League and its players are just pulling such stunts to annoy the guys at PGA. They just want to get into their heads. And we're certain that they've been pretty successful in this venture until now. Moving on, here's how Poulter's presence and attire incited criticism. The Live Rebel wasn't exactly welcome on the field after joining his new league. And well, he wasn't the one. There were 17 Live League players on the field in Wentworth, with Ian Poulter, Justin Harding, and Adrian Oteegi leading the charge. Poulter responded to the negative remarks by saying that there were merely petty comments, which he didn't think deserved a reply. Graham McDowell also appealed that everyone should use common sense rather than moving on to legal actions. But PGA members weren't too happy to see them there. In fact, Rory McIlroy appeared disappointed at the live player's presence and responded by saying, I didn't know he made the rules. Oh, that's a burn. Lastly, how come we're seeing the PGA and live players play together? The champion get at Wentworth was something almost everyone in PGA was dreading and looking forward to at the same time. And we're sure you know the answer by now. The drama between the Live League and PGA Tours has appeared in the headlines many times, and PGA's harsh reaction to its players joining the Saudi-backed venture has shown us that they're not willing to cooperate. So why were they playing together at the BMW PGA Championship? Well, here's the thing. This particular championship was actually hosted by the DP Tours. In fact, it's one of their most prestigious events of the year. And, as you might have realized, their policies towards the Live players aren't that harsh. For now, those who qualified for the tournament based on their world ranking or other relevant criteria have been allowed to play in the event. Although their presence at the event was criticized by top men of the sport, sponsors have remained neutral, saying that their only goal is to organize a world-class event. But here's another thought. The German car maker poured a lot of money into this event, so they definitely wanted something in return. Now, one way to achieve their goal would be to get maximum coverage. And how do they create that? By incorporating dramatic elements, such as true nemeses, the Live and PGA facing each other for the first time in public. Now, that's definitely going to jack up those ratings. That's all we have today for everything that went down at Wentworth last week. Now let's catch you up with everything else that's been going on in the sport. Here's some other news for you. First up, matches were suspended after Queen's passing. During the first round of the BMW PGA Championship in Britain, the play was 
suspended. This happened as Bellamore Castle announced the death of England's monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, on the 8th of September, 2022. Many players had yet to finish their first rounds at Wentworth. In fact, 30 of a total 144 players still had to play before the tournament was abruptly paused. No more plays were conducted on Friday, and the flags of the Wentworth Club were lowered to half mast out of respect to the Queen and her family. It was recently announced that the matches would continue this weekend, but a proper schedule hasn't been announced yet. Several players, such as Tommy Fleetwood, took to their social media to express their condolences on the United Kingdom's loss of their 96-year-old longest reigning monarch. Moving on, Rory McIlroy has moved on from his friends who shifted to live. Recently, at a conference at Wentworth, the PGA star Rory McIlroy admitted that the Saudi-backed endeavor had ruined friendships after many players left PGA in order to make more money. McIlroy is definitely one of the loudest voices when it comes to defending PGA and criticizing the Live League. Three of his Ryder Cup teammates, including Garcia, Poulter, and Westwood, have let go of their PGA memberships in order to join the league and, well, let's just say that the golfer isn't too happy about it. In fact, when asked whether he still maintained a relationship with them, he said, I wouldn't say I've got much of a relationship with them at the minute. Seems like they had some serious falling out. McElroy further went on to say that he can sit here and hold his head high because he didn't do anything differently. Well, we're definitely sensing some resentment on his part, along with a faint tint of a possible grudge. The way things are progressing right now, we don't really expect them to make up anytime soon, but who knows what's going to happen in the future. Finally, PGA has sworn to never renew memberships for players who defected to live. All right, they might not have sworn per se, but their tone pretty much gave the same vibes. In a recent memo released to the players, the PGA has made it abundantly clear that it doesn't want live players to be a part of their association at all. The letter stated that the tour is not willing to enter into a membership agreement with a player that won't be able to perform the material obligations. So, in a way, we can say that the American-based PGA Tour is having some serious trust issues right now. And well, can you really blame them? After dozens of players leaving them hoping to get more money at the live, the PGA just wants those members who are fully sincere with them and won't jump ship as soon as they see a bigger, flashier boat. Oh well, seems like the feud is definitely going to continue for another season. This, of course, means more drama and lawsuits. We can't wait to see how this is going to end, or even when the PGA vs. Live showdown will finally see its conclusion. That's a wrap for this video, folks. Hope you enjoyed today's content. What did you think of Poulter's attire? Do you think it was a sensible move? Were you happy with Fleetwood's performance at the tournament? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos like this.